Hello. In today's rapidly advancing AI landscape, efficiently utilizing infrastructure resources is critical. One technology that can significantly enhance resource utilization is GPU time slicing. For those working with AI and ML models, understanding how to optimize the GPU usage can lead to major cost savings and performance improvements. In this video, I'll break down what a GPU time slicing is, its benefits, potential drawbacks, and how to practically apply it in real-world scenarios. This is the first video in series focused on AI infrastructure, where we will dive deep into the tech that powers modern AI solutions. Let's get straight to the core what is the GPU time slicing. Time slicing allows multiple workloads to share a single physical GPU by allocation time slots uh, to each workload. Essentially, instead of one process holding uh, onto the entire GPU resource, the GPU time is divided among different processes. This division occurs rapidly, giving the impression that the GPU is handling multiple tasks simultaneously. To give you a practical example, imagine a single high-end uh, GPU, such as uh, NVIDIA A100, which is typically very expensive. Without time slicing, this GPU might be underutilized, especially if your AI task done, don't fully use the GPU's capabilities. With the time slicing, you can run multiple AI models on the same GPU each taking a slice of the GPU's time, leading to better overall utilization and efficiently. Time slicing is particularly beneficial in scenarios where you have multiple users or processes that don't need the full power of the GPU all the time, but do need consistent access to GPU resources. This can be incredibly useful in shared environments like cloud platforms or large organizations where resources must be distributed effectively among various tasks. The advantages of GPU time slicing are clear and impactful. Instead of a single process locking off the whole GPU, multiple processes can share it and assure high overall usage. For instance, if you are running four different machine learning models, each can get its slice of the GPU, making better use of their resource. By allowing multiple tasks to share the same GPU, you reduce the need for additional hardware. Consider a scenario where without time slicing, you would need four GPUs to run four tasks. With time slicing, one GPU can handle all four tasks slashing uh, hardware costs by up to 75%. Time slicing allows you to dynamically adjust resources based on demand. For instance, if you are running multiple AI workloads with uh, different intensity, time slicing lets you scale up and down without changing the underlying hardware. Uh, while the benefits are compiling, there are some trade-offs to be aware of. First of all, time slicing introduces a scheduling overhead, which can impact performance, particularly for latency-sensitive applications. The GPU has to manage multiple contexts, and this context switching can introduce delays. Uh, also, not all applications are optimized for time slicing. If your workload is not designed to take advantage of this feature, you might not see the expected performance gains. If too many tasks complete for GPU resources, you could face contention issues where none, none of tasks perform optimally. This situation can be mitigated by careful workload management and ensuring that time slicing is appropriately config configured. Let's consider a practical scenario to understand the cost implication better. Imagine a setup where you need to run four AI here tasks 
each requiring GPU resources for around, for example, 25% of the time. Without time slicing, you'd need to for separate the GPUs, each dedicated for a single task. If each GPU costs around $10,000, your total hardware cost is $40,000. Now, with time slicing, you can run all four tasks on a single GPU, as each task only needs the GPU for a quarter of the time. This reduces your hardware requirement to just one GPU, bringing your cost down to $10,000. Uh, uh, of course, this is theoretical uh, information, but we can calculate uh, uh, cost savings for each situation separately. The savings are significant, and especially when you scale the cross large infrastructures. If you are leveraging cloud infrastructure instead of uh, own hardware, GPU time slicing is supported by major cloud providers. AWS offers GPU instances like the uh, Graviton series, which supports uh, time slicing, allowing more multiple AI tasks to share a single GPU. Azure supports time slicing on its uh, N series uh, VMs, providing a cost effective way to manage AI workloads. Google Cloud providers uh, GPU options within its A2 family, enabling time slicing for optimized resource usage. These instances are ideal for users looking for balanced performance with cost effectiveness, making GPU resources more accessible. While time slicing is highly efficient, it's essential to manage the performance impact. Uh, the additional scheduling can cause slight performance degradation, especially in tasks requiring real-time processing. Mitigation of this involves tuning the time slice intervals and uh, prioritizing critical tasks to minimize latency. Uh, also, by profiling your workload, you can better understand the GPU demands and adjust the time slicing parameters accordingly. This ensures that critical workloads uh, get the resources they need while less critical ones share the remaining slices. Continuous monitoring, of course, uh, of GPU utilization and performance is critical. Tools like uh, NVIDIA CMI or cloud-specific monitoring services can help you fine-tune the settings to maintain optimal performance. In summary, GPU time slicing offers a powerful way to maximize the GPU utilization, reduce costs, and enhance the scalability of your AI infrastructure. However, it's not uh, without its challenge, challenges. Uh, and understanding how to configure and manage time slicing effectively is key uh, for success. In the next videos, I'll uh, walk you through how to enable GPU time slicing in Kubernetes at OpenShift, providing you with the practical knowledge to implement this in your environment. Thank you for watching. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more in-depth discussions on AI infrastructure. See you in the next videos.